Hello everyone. I have to excuse my cold today. We're trying to experiment this year. So what we're trying to do is we've got this nice field of grass. So there's some Timothy, some brome, and like a pasture mix of grasses in it. And at one point, you know, we had a decent amount of alfalfa in here also, but the alfalfa has kind of died off. And what we're trying to do is plant some alfalfa back into this field without, you know, plowing it up and just plant it back into this grass without killing off the grasses. So what we've done so far is my dad has gone over this field probably three or four times with this harrow here. If you look here, you can see like the grass is kind of kind of patchy, but it's left a decent little you know seed bed, not too deep. Now what I'm doing is I'm using this Alice Chalmers 175 with those new 20 foot harrows that I built. And I'm just going over what my dad's harrowed. I'm just trying to level it up a little bit more and, and spread out some of this dirt that he's picked up. So if you look here, this is what I've gone over with the leveler. And like I said, it's, I, it's a pretty nice little seed bed, not too deep. You know, maybe an inch or so is all that we got of loose dirt here. We got Piper. And we're hoping that we can just plant that alfalfa using the drill right into the seed bed that we're working up. So of course our biggest worry is that the, the grass is gonna come up too quick and it's gonna just suffocate out that alfalfa. So this is an experiment we're trying and I'll kinda of try to bring you guys along and show you what happens. We probably won't know how it turned out till after first cutting and we'll see, see how it's looking. So if you look close, you'll notice that we do have just like clumps of grass and we're hoping the alfalfa will take root in these bare spots so there's not grass growing. That's the hope anyway. hooked up had to take a break for a minute to go get those from daycare so he's gonna help dad out for the rest of the night huh maybe a big help huh yeah so we got the drills ready i got everything all greased up and hooked up so now we see to add our alfalfa seed into these front black bins here So this is what we're using, just a plain Jane alfalfa seed. Here's a tag if you guys are interested in seeing it. This is what the seeds look like. Just little tiny seeds. And we're gonna plant it at 20 pounds to the acre. Let's see what that does for us. working <laughs> no everything look all right we ready to roll probably have to wait till later this evening to try to do any planning the wind's blowing a little bit too much right now so the way this drill works is everything mechanical is driven off these packer wheels so there's a chain where's that oh so here, here's the chain here so see the chain inside there and the chain's hooked to these wheels and of course the tractor's pulling the drill forward so as these wheels spin it drives that chain and that chain goes up to here and wraps around that sprocket 
that drives all your gears inside of the inside of the seed bin. So I'll open up this seed bin and I'll show you. So I'll show you inside of this the grain seed bin because I forgot to show you the alfalfa bin before I filled the full alfalfa seed. If you look down here, you, know, you got these holes here and you got these sprocket looking dills. So as that chain spins, these sprockets are turning also and they're grabbing a small amount of grain or your seed and push it, pulling it down and dropping it into these hoses here. And these hoses is assigned to its own individual disc. And these hoses drop your seed right inside the back side of this disc here. So this disc will be pushed into the ground and it goes along, it's gonna make you a little, it's gonna make you a little furrow and your seed's gonna drop right into that furrow. And these packer wheels will come behind and push that seed down and cover it with a little bit of dirt. Well, excuse me, I'm trying to explain something here. Right? Is that right? So that's how the, the grain seed side works. And the alfalfa side is just the exact same, except for the hoses that come out of this alfalfa box come and drop the seed a little bit further behind, almost right in front of this packer wheel. So yeah, so hopefully that's kind of a rough explanation on how this works. So we're all ready. Just have to wait for the wind to die down and try to do some planting tonight. I was gonna say, you don't wanna plant alfalfa seed when it's windy, because it's such a small seed and you almost broadcast it, that that wind will just blow that seed around. And just, just a lot better to wait till it's not so windy. It is pretty windy this afternoon. going so you can see here this is where dad's gone over with the drill this is a real patchy spot here a lot of dirt showing so if you look here you can see the little seeds right here on the ground. And behind the packer wheel, you know, kind of just packs them right into the dirt a little bit. And <laughs> Hopefully it'll grow. seen where I've already planted that. I have to watch for my packer wheel marks on the grass. I just finished planting that alfalfa. So all we gotta do now is just wait and pray for some rain and see what happens. So I'm just out here fixing fence and it's been six days since I planted this alfalfa into this grass stand. And I'm not, and I'm not seeing anything sprout yet. 
It's been pretty cold and rainy though, last three or four days, so I don't know if it's been warm enough for it to sprout. So in case you guys are wondering, it's May 24th today, and I believe I planted this alfalfa on May 18th. I want to show you guys something real quick too while I'm out here. So like I said, this field was planted into alfalfa and then a pa along with a pasture mix of grasses. Uh, like I said, I think we had some Timothy and brome and a few other species of grasses in here. But just look at the bare spots we got in here. You know, like here's a bare spot and you can just see like the grass is kind of clumpy. You know, more bare spots over here. And this is probably from the, you know, the alfalfa dying out and nothing's came to take its place yet. But right across this fence up here in front of me, this fence right here is a grass piece, a pasture piece. And to the best of my knowledge, I don't think it's ever had a plow on it. So it's just a natural grass stand. It's got natural grasses in it. Let's walk up there and I'll show you the difference. I don't have a tape measure with me, so I'm going to use the sammer here. We'll get a measurement using this. So here's a clump of grass here. I'd say the tallest piece of grass is about the third, little third grip ridge right there on this hammer. So looking down this fence line, it's almost night and day difference what we got here. So natural pasture piece right here, planted piece right here. So I think the first thing you'll notice right here is the grass isn't clumpy. Just one solid patch of grass. We got our measurement up here on this one. So the grass is about the same height really as that tallest clump over there. But well, just look at the difference. Just thought that was kind of interesting. We gotta show you guys real quick while I was out here. It's just been three weeks since we planted this alfalfa this grass I want to show you guys how it's doing so if you look close you see all the little leaves kind of starting to pop up here and then the patchy grass you know you got a, an open patch here you got some leaves popping up here and here probably have to do a part two to this video after we cut the first crop and see how well this alfalfa comes up because we still got another you know, maybe four weeks till we cut. And I think that's when we're going to be able to tell if this worked or not. So it's coming up and we'll wait and see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and See you on part two.